I just watched the movie Red One. And I will say, I actually, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I didn't hate it at all. I did not hate it at all. I didn't know what to expect going into the movie. All I knew was that Santa got kidnapped. And that's that's essentially all I knew. I watched the trailer. Uh, and the thing that I love about these types of Christmas movies is that each one essentially is the same plot. It's in the beginning, Christmas is good. And then Christmas ends up being in danger. But by the end of the movie, Christmas is saved. You know what I mean? Christmas Chronicles, if you've ever seen that, it's the same thing. And uh, like I said, the thing that I love about these types of movies is that each one's kind of different, right? With the red one, Santa's jacked. I mean, J.K. Simmons, I mean, I mean, if I if I had if I wanted Santa to look like somebody, that's what I want. I mean, I want him pressing 400 pounds at the beginning, like eat with ease. You know what I mean? He Santa should should be jacked. I think Santa should be jacked, right? He burns about four million calories on Christmas Eve. That's insane. That's insane, right? So Santa's jacked in this one. The reindeer were absolutely fucking massive. I mean, talk about reindeer. These were reindeer. About twice, maybe three times the size of people. That's different. I also like how uh, in each Christmas movie, the elves are different. And in, in Red One, they were kind of, they were they were white furry. They look like bunnies. They look like bunnies. I thought they were pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. I thought they were pretty cute. Uh, yeah, I mean, so a lot of stuff was different. Uh, like I said, from other Christmas movies, but the plot was the same. And the thing that I really enjoyed about this movie was the the way that Chris Evans' character played a role in this movie. I thought that he his story was, you know, it almost had me tearing at one point. I was tearing up at at the point where him and his son reconnect. You know what I mean? That's just that's that's what Christmas is all about: being around family and being being with the ones you love. And that's that's what that's what happened in this movie. He ended up with his son on Christmas Eve. It was a beautiful moment. I mean, I enjoyed it. I loved it. I loved it. Uh, yeah, I also loved how there was different Christmas characters that I didn't really know. You know what I mean? The main villain. I forget her name. Maybe I'll throw it on the screen so you could see it. Never even heard of her before. I thought that was cool. There was the you know there were walking jack snowman i mean that was sick there was a talking polar bear oh also another thing i loved about this movie was that it wasn't just one naughty list there were tears you know what i mean this man was a level four naughty lister i mean that's crazy that's crazy he's up there with the most naughty people in the world a tier four naughty lister what what tier do you think you would be in if you were on the naughty list with the stuff you've done what tier do you think you'd be in let me know down below I'd probably be a tier two, tier one. I'm probably not crazy, but tier four is out of out of out of this world. You know what I mean, that was pretty cool. That wasn't in any other Christmas movies. Yeah, overall, loved this. I enjoyed it. Definitely uh, would would be something a family would go see. It wasn't inappropriate at all. I thought it was a perfect, a great Christmas movie. Great Christmas movie. Now, if I had to rate on a scale of one to ten, one being shit, ten being amazing, I'd probably go maybe an eight point one. 8.1 is fair. It was an 8 for me. It's in the 8s. I thought it was great. Definitely recommend it, especially since Christmas is right around the corner. It's the best time of the year, baby. The most magical time of the year. You love to see it. So I'm going to send it over to my future self. We're going to see if we can find some autographs that go along with this movie. Because I already know I already know J.K. Simmons has one, and he's going to be the first one I'm talking about. Let's go. So I did some digging, and I found four people in this movie that have autograph cards and other sets. Starting off, we have Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who played Callum Drift in this movie. And I thought this autograph was pretty unique. I didn't even know it existed. But we have a 2005 Doom set created by Artbox. I have no idea who Artbox is, but he has an autograph in that set. And this is this is a super rare card, if I, I believe it is. And it's a probably maybe a $1,000 card. <laughs> I sold it on eBay for a couple of thousand by now. I don't think it's worth that much, but... I thought this was a unique card. Next, we have Chris Evans, who played Jack O'Malley. And this specific autograph is from a 2022 Marvel Allure. And this one is the one of one Golden Treasures autograph. Easily a multi-thousand dollar card. And if you have this, if you end up getting this card in a collection, it's a very, very nice card. I'm not gonna, I wish it wasn't a sticker autograph, but I'm not gonna complain about that. Next, we have Jay. 
J.K. Simmons, who played Santa in this movie, a jacked Santa Claus. He has an autograph. This one specifically is from a 2007 Spider-Man set, which was released by Rittenhouse. And this is the Relic autograph. I wish I had this card in my collection. I definitely want to get one of these J.K. Simmons autographs eventually, but that's for a later date. And last but not least, we have Christopher Hivju, Hivju, not really sure how to say the last name, but he played Krampus in this movie, and I didn't even know he was playing Krampus because, I mean, Krampus had just so much cosmetic stuff on there, you couldn't even tell, but he has a big role in Game of Thrones, if you've ever seen the show, he played Tormund at Giant Spain, easily one of the more likable characters from Game of Thrones. And this autograph is specifically from Iron Anniversary Series 2, which is the inscription autograph, which was released in 2021 by Rittenhouse Cards. And that concludes the list of people who have autograph cards in other sets that played a role in Red One. Let me know what you guys think. Do you have any of these cards? Are you going to pick some of these up? Or if, have you seen the movie yet? I think it's a great movie. I definitely recommend it, especially since Christmas is right around the corner. So it fits perfectly. And yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Till next video. Bye.